What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are taking a look at the Super Witch. I've made a video on it before, but I think it's pretty OP, guys, if you use it the correct way. Taking a look at it at Town Hall 12, Town Hall 13, you have level 5 Super Witches at both Town Hall levels. So Town Hall 12, you can use a very powerful thing at your Town Hall level. Now you have to use them the correct way. We're going to take a look at two attacks. This one was a great uh, way to use it, and it's why I really like it at Town Hall 13. The other one is going to show, um, you know, one of the flaws of the strategy. Let's get right into it. Warden Walk on one side, typically that's a, a good practice. Siege Barracks, King Funnel the other side. Quake open to make sure it's very easy because the witches are difficult to funnel, so you want it to be very easy for them to enter the base. There's going to be hogs coming out of the Siege Barracks, you'll see that in just a moment. Super Witches are down though. Um, those skeletons coming out front, those are some big beautiful skeletons, guys. Um, ah, yeah, so the Royal Champion goes with the Hog Riders here, and they kind of take that flank. Um, meanwhile, the Super Witches enter the base, Queen is with them, of course, and um, you can see the healers doing a nice job keeping them up. Meanwhile, the skeletons run out in front and do most of the damage and can kind of tank. The, uh, the heal was used on the hogs, unfortunately they died a little bit early, uh, but the Royal Champion is able to stay up for a while, take out a bunch of defenses, meanwhile everything's still working in the core. The main downside of this strategy is going to be time. Uh, you run out of time very quickly uh, because the skeletons and the witches, you know, past that initial push, they don't do much damage that fast. The main benefit is they can keep spawning, they have a ton of hit points, both the witches and their skeletons. Um, it's hard to kill them, but you got to make sure you have the wizards for cleanup, um, maybe even bring more cleanup troops. Typically, I bring five super witches. If you want a little bit extra troop space, because that only leaves um, a little bit of troop space if you bring five healers also. So you can drop a healer, bring four healers, five super witches, or you can go down to four super witches, and that gives you 40 troop space, a ton of different stuff you can bring. Um, but I definitely prefer... To, uh, to just drop a healer if I have to drop something, because I like having five super witches um, as opposed to four. You can see here, like I said, it just takes a long time for everything to kind of finish off the base, and that's what you'll find with this strategy. Um, so do a short warden walk, get things going as soon as possible. Warden walk should do a little funnel, whichever side's easier to funnel typically, just do a quick little funnel, then just start you know slamming those super witches in. Using the quakes is typically a good method, um, you don't have the super wall breakers. It's hard to be fancy, you know, with the jump and the super wall breakers because you don't have access to that. Um, you're already bringing a super troop. So um, that was a, uh, a cool hit for sure. And um, let's uh, take a look at the other attack and talk about this a little bit more in a moment. But first, guys, um, let's switch gears for a second and take a look at the results of that poll that I posted. Um, as you guys know, the poll asked you a question presented by my creator code Bisect. Be sure to enter it. You got to enter it every week, guys, um, because it resets every week. Supercell wants to make sure only the most dedicated supporters um, are are the ones that have the creator code and that the creators get you know benefits from. Um, so enter that every week. Really appreciate it. And um, it's uh, presenting our poll today. I guess you can say that. This war is still active, by the way. Um, but you guys can't even see my iPad screen right now. Anyway, the results of the poll, um, what year did you first start playing Clash of Clans? Interesting question, and a lot of OGs out there. It was neck and neck for the first two options. I started myself uh, the summer after my eighth grade uh, year in school, and that would be 2013, I believe, so I'd be with that first 43%. A lot of people have been playing for a long time, um, 2014, 2015, also five plus years. Uh, then, you know, a smaller group, uh, 16 to 17, and then just a, a very small handful. I want to know who those 1% are that started in 2020. You know, a good year to pick up something new, perhaps, you know, you have maybe some extra time, but, um, you know, you'd have to really be grinding to get up to a, a good town hall level to really be competitive uh, in wars, at least. But, hey, shout out to the 2020 the one percenters out there. Um, let's take a look at the other attack, getting back to Super Witches. 
And um, as we do, guys, be sure to um, let me know in the comments uh, any future ideas. I like doing these little polls maybe in every other video. So let me know if there's any questions you want me to poll the entire subscriber base on. And um, I'll, if, if I like your idea, uh, I'll look through the comments and maybe I'll, I'll t take one of the uh, suggestions from you guys. So think about doing that. Um, Town Hall 12, I'm kind of torn because... The problem with Super Witches, and we'll see, not necessarily this attack, it's a different problem. They have two problems, really, Super Witches do. Um, the, the issue is that they take a long time and they're difficult to funnel. The funneling you can kind of do. Um, I got greedy here, perhaps, and brought the five Super Witches and the five healers, only leaving ten other troop space. So the funnel wasn't great, even though I did put a lot on that side. I put my king and my siege barracks up over there to create the funnel. You're going to see it's not going to work out. Witches are difficult to funnel. That's just the fact of, uh, of super witches. But they are very, very strong compared to Town Hall 12 defenses. Because um, they're still level 5, same as Town Hall 13. So they are very, very strong. If you can get them, if you can use them correctly, get them into the base, and then also have some cleanup troops to get the job done. Um, so the hogs come out. You're going to see. Uh, I think most of the lava pups is what pull the super witches. It's kind of hard to predict that, to be honest. But um, they're, most of them are going to walk around the outside of the base, kind of ruin the attack. But you're going to see, even with all that, all those problems, they're not really dying. They're just not going where I want them to go. But you know, it takes a long time, a lot of damage to actually kill both the super witches and their skeletons uh, but you know one way to do it is have a multi that you can't reach for a minute plus and just let it you know slowly burn down your super witches uh, queen wasn't able to quite do it herself without any healers on her uh, so she will go down um, the thing with town hall 12 super witches despite how powerful they are in terms of being hard to kill you don't have the royal champion which is actually a big uh, is significant because the royal champion kind of helps wrap up one side of defenses that your troops might miss as they enter the base and as they move through and it helps with uh, time because these are defenses that the troops would have to kind of track back and get sometimes you can just drop your royal champion drop like two wizards behind her which i think is what i kind of did in that first attack and it'll work out nicely because you'll be you know taking out a bunch of stuff at once with the royal champion doing one thing and then on the other side or in the middle your super witches and the queen doing the other thing so um without the royal champion you got to be creative sometimes use a bat wave on the back end i'm going to go ahead and show one more attack and i apologize for burning um a couple bases here but you know it's 2020 bases are going to get burned in wars um I'm probably going to get a ton of hate and dislikes. That happened one time when I burned a few bases. But like I said, I apologize to this clan for showing a couple of their bases that weren't three-starred yet. Um, let's see if I remember what number it was. Uh, it was 12. Okay, good. I, it was recent, the attack. Um, I tried using the bat spell with Super Witches. And um, I wish I had more triples to show because, guys, I have tripled with this before um it's not like i'm you know scraping to get as many triples as i can it just um i'm getting used to them still but trust me this is going to be a powerful strategy if you use it right nice little warden and then a hog on that archer tower that was being tanked I, you know that was very very nice um one of my prouder moments there is that nice little trade we're doing that warden walk on one side king funnel on the other side pretty standard stuff um the king can actually walk in to the compartment here with the gap from the walls. I might make a video uh, on you know these walls. I think I've said that before, but it's probably worth covering in a video. Um, super witches go down, spying the skeletons, and um, queen coming in as well. Pretty good funnel. The, uh, the issue here was that the bats kind of died and the super witches are very hard to funnel. The king didn't fully take out that compartment, so they're gonna kind of walk that direction. Um, the queen, for whatever reason, I had to use her ability. Something locked on to her. I'm not sure what, which kind of sucked. But um, I think the reason super witches are hard to funnel is because they are spawning something that is going to mess up their funnel. It's like they're doing it to themselves because when they spawn the skeletons, the skeletons go out and take stuff out that's right in front of them that otherwise would be like pulling them in. Um, and then they kind of walk to whatever is off to the side. So you got to be really good on the funnel. 
and you gotta not have your bats all die. Ice Golem was late. I mean, if it tanks this Wizard Tower, this might have worked pretty well. Um, but the bats kind of split awkwardly. Um, the multi locks on, so I try to freeze that. The Wizard Tower takes them out. I don't even use my last free spell because I'm stupid, I guess. And then back end Battle Blimp probably should have dropped a little earlier, but um, that was to kind of deal with that multi. So all the pieces are there, guys. I, you know, just because I'm showing a couple fails and um, I wish I had more triples to show. So, you know, if you want to dislike this video because it was two fails and one triple, uh, that's uh, that's your right to do. But super witches are strong regardless of the triple to fail ratio in this video. I'm still kind of figuring it out, but as you saw that we, you know, we crushed a Town Hall 13 base in that first attack. I've done it before, and trust me, this will be. I'll master this at Town Hall 12, and I'll put the video out there. What I'm starting to think is maybe do four super witches, four healers, freeze up a lot of troop space to get that funnel perfect, and also some other stuff, you know, around the base to um, speed things up and you know offer more damage. The super witches won't die, but they are hard to funnel and they take a ton of time. Two downsides, like I said, you can deal with that. So uh, typically we're using earthquakes to uh, to open it up. Here I used a jump spell because it was very simple, just jumping over you know, one little bit of walls, no need for earthquakes for that. But if it's more compact, if it's a bunch of little compartments, yeah, use the earthquake spell. So that'll do it guys. Um, be sure to enter that creator code bisect, but I don't need to tell you that because you'll be reminded again at the end screen of the video. Shout out to all my Patreon patrons. I'll be updating the end screen for the next month very soon. Um, so look for that, guys. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think of this strategy in the comments, as well as any uh, any poll questions you might want me to uh, to put out to all the viewers. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.